Hey guys, how are you doing? So as you see, I got a lot of cool stuff for you today and uh, I will probably actually make a separate video for for the ZT770CF because I think it's the first time when I actually have a production knife before pretty much everybody, anybody else because these are not out yet I have a hookup from, uh, if some of you guys remember, Jen uh, she got a knife from me and uh, her part of a bargain was that whenever they finally make this I'm gonna be one of the first ones who gets it. So she awesomely held up her part of a deal She says she still enjoys the knife she got from me and it's pretty cool. Cannot wait, cannot make a, cannot wait to make another video with the, with them at the, the booth this time at this year at the Blade Show. It's gonna be fun. It's always fun to hang out with her uh, so pretty cool I really like it so i'll just make a separate video like an overview video about it a couple interesting thing i noticed and uh, a couple things i like and what i don't like and uh beside it because this wouldn't be equal with the knife I, uh, she got from me uh she threw in this to go with it which is pretty awesome the 560 black wash you guys can remember that we actually talked about both of these. I mean, this was a prototype. This was also kind of like a prototype back then at the Blade Show. I mean, I can't believe it's almost a year. Uh, this I had the six uh, five sixty before, just way too big. So I think I will just resell this one for a good deal to somebody. I think these are about the, I think the cheapest one I've seen were like two twenty five plus shipping. So I think I'm gonna just list this on Gear Bastion for two hundred cheap. Somebody can get a good deal if somebody was on lookout for this. The, the black wash, you know, the DLC version of a stone uh, acid wash, which I like this a lot better actually. It is a cool idea that they had that just, you know, heavy stone wash on the DLC coating. It's pretty clever. It looks cool. It looks good. And it still actually has a good rust protection. Not that this one needs it because it's like, this one is Elmax? Yeah, Elmax. So, and also this. Interesting notice. This is interesting. Uh, so they do all the black wash here and here. Why they didn't do the same thing on this liner? That kind of puzzles me. Kind of offsets it a lot. It should be black as well, and you know what, stone wash. So okay. And now about ZTs. The one from yesterday, the one that I told you guys, showed you that uh, I made a replacement, which is already on the way actually to the customer. I actually yesterday after those tons of shades I did I sit down behind this and try to fix it up and my idea behind on the beginning was I'll just make it you know look different with those little tweaks so it's gonna look cool for me but it's still gonna be just like a beater knife but for some weird odd reason I mean the lug is same like it was before for some weird odd reason it actually works really perfect it actually came perfectly centered which i had a hard time when i was doing the blade try to change the blades and everything and even when i put the original one back i had a hell of a time putting it center for some reason something was off on it maybe the tolerance is on the on the stopping and everything but once i put this together it just came perfectly centered really like it did the cool little swedge on it actually i hand rub it this way like a uh, horizontal the gym pink the blade is same i just did that you know this little nibbled here and the switch and i changed the profile of the hand a little bit and then you know put that micro rock on it again but really like it it's super light really quick deployment this so that's actually my edc and i got the, like that's gonna be my knife and because of that, because I will be really happy with this and I grew to like the large one, I will probably list this one. I have to double check everything is fine, resharpen it, you know, make it like new, probably maybe reanalyze it again for something different. Because I did a lot of blue lately, so I'll... But actually, I might probably keep it this way because a lot of people on Instagram really like this. The, they really like this color and the way it came out all together. So I will probably list this one for sale, the small flipper with really cool copper wash one of the better one of the best copper washes i think i've done it's already worn out but it's like really it wears out really nicely i mean i've been editing this knife for a long long time fairly you know for considering how long i'm making folders and since i made it and here in florida no treatment on the blade just you know humid by the sea everywhere and actually pretty good still so this one has really good action good lock up everything so I'll just double check everything and we'll be 
maybe tonight or tomorrow on the on the gear version for sale and I want to show you another one uh, I made today this one is for one of the very good good customers he said that he would like to purchase a large flipper and uh, he, he bought a lot of stuff from me so I said you know what? I'll make something today I'll show it to you before I put it on gear version if you want it and uh, he was excited about this so he got it uh, you know for told you a couple of times guys you know when I have customers that been with me for a long time and they bought a lot of lot of stuff they still don't really get to pre-order and stuff but I will give them you know dips first dips on stuff if they show interest for obvious reasons you know because of customers like that I am able to do what I do and what I love to do so same idea you know kind of very similar I just grew to like this so that nice little like a uh, thumb ram like a uh, harpoon spoon whatever you want to call it nice even switch not big but you know nice and even on both sides nice lean flat grind stone wash nice flipper really like also this little subtle detail about the flipper it makes it like kind of nicer looking I think on top when it's in this way flies up really good locks up good should be perfectly centered yep nice not too early but not 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 too late it's like you know halfway in the lock bar which is probably i don't know, one third just a nice good lock up solid nice simple clean pocket clip and they're just little kind of like a little tiny bolster here in a kind of like a whatever shape you know and then just tiny little hint of it here and same thing on this side there is a little bit here it goes there underneath the pocket clip and same here just like a design wise i just had the idea to do it just a little bit and that blue stone wash came out nice I think just a nice blue color and this is already with the oil from the hands but it's still very nice I think I think oh and a uh, little subtle detail is I put the micro rock this was nicely beveled everywhere but I put the nice little like a uh, I like it I personally like it I don't know if you guys do just on the flats you know on the actual very flats you and you still have the regular bevel then on the corner and same it's everywhere actually that little like a micro rock so and that's actually going to friends and this same guy actually gave me idea I was uh, there was a trial and error experiment with the plastic dip I had people uh, you know talking about it in the past and I never want to really try it I didn't know how good it is but on the neckers I, I really wanted to you know once the neckers came and I started doing them I wanted to try it if I can make them even cheaper and and I mean later let's say easier to make because you know, I don't have to do that hard you know paracord rub it's not easy you know paracord rub might be cheaper way out it certainly is not easier way out because you can imagine how much my fingers hurt after those two days of doing those neckers and the sharkies for true nord knives you would not believe how much my fingers and my hands hurt after doing the paracord it looks simple but it's you know it's it's a hard work <laughs> so and I did it, I did the experiment with the plastic wrap, plastic dip, but it couldn't handle the shade retention here up front. It was the, just the, the friction from the shade was just ripping, you know, just spilling it off. And uh, when I mentioned in the pause, you know, showed it and they said, yeah, bummer, not gonna work. Caesar, this guy, he actually gave me idea of how about if you do kind of same thing what I did with the pocket clip neckers, where I do just two, three layers of paracord, not layers, but lines. And that that will serve for retention purpose and then I can do the the plastic so I tried it and it's perfect it works really good and uh, now it's just the questions of how durable this part here will be but I think it will be good because when I did the original one it I had a hell of a time to remove this it was really strong like it's really there and it provides insane grip like it's so rubbery really good grip on it so we'll see I'm gonna carry this use this see how I like it and see how it holds up but I think it's gonna be actually not a bad not a bad option on these little neckers very very grippy you know no matter how uh, sweaty your hands are it is very very grippy and so far it feels like it's very durable so we'll see again see that the retention is just on the paracord and the plastic dip starts pretty much from like where the shade ends that's where the paracord the, the plastic dip starts so it's pretty cool
about only the advantages of this that it looks kind of weird but me personally i don't really care about it. it's on the inside so it doesn't really matter but we'll see like i said so guys hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think i really like this kind of excited about it because it's large and it's super light it's really really lightweight because of the carbon fiber that the orange carbon fiber and like i said you know this will be on the gear bastion this and uh, i'll make a separate video about you know a little overview about this knife 77 770 CF. Guys, remember, don't cut yourself.